YouTube world. I am back after a bit of a break. Well, actually, it's not been a holiday. <laughs> I've been super duper busy. Um, anyway, I don't often show a painting at the beginning of a video, but when I began to film this painting, I did a time lapse and I didn't realise. So when we get into it, there'll be time a lot of time lapses because I'm sure you appreciate this took took me a long time to do and the top there the sky is flip cups um, with swipes over the top custom made blue that I've made up myself then we go down and the land is actually a dustpan pour um, bright yellows there um, the PBO iridescent green and over the top is this beautiful thick impasto paint thickened with thickening gel and it's given this beautiful beautiful effect and when the sun shines on it it's not shining at the minute it really does um, pick up the light it's it's just works beautifully so I hope you enjoy the process of this painting and um, I will be interjecting with some chatter every now and then. you saw the flip cup and this is about half an hour later and I went away and I came back and I don't know if you can see but my pearl white split it was made up exactly the same time as uh, the other paints so really not sure <laughs> why it, it did that so I, I wasn't really intending to swipe and you can see that it's a little bit late to swipe because it's really hot in the UK when I did this so it is dragging a little but actually for the clouds it's producing quite a cool effect so sometimes you just need to embrace what you're given and work with what you're given um, but splitting's a bad thing so I work hard at overcoming mats before I progress, but it does produce some beautiful clouds. I did mess up a little bit here I went back in with palette knife um, but you just got to make it work you just got to keep going it was okay in the end but just added more paint um, or as long as you don't add too much <laughs> uh, and um, just add more contrast I guess and more cloud effects and it does it does come out all right in the end wispy clouds
Okay, I tend to use a split cup for my dustpan pours. I just like the effect that it gives. Um, we also need to go across these three big canvases. So they're 80 centimetres deep by 30 centimetres across. You, need, you do need quite a lot of paint and I only just had enough. Um, so I, I did do two, two swipes with the dustpan pour, two passes rather, um, just to create a little bit of, in the, so in the background are very muted greens. It's, they're very, uh, they're dulled down with orange, a little bit of orange in there, just to desaturate them. And there's only a couple of colors in there actually, maybe three. So not much going on with this one. Now the name of the game with Dustpan Pour is slow and steady and not be uh, jittery with it. But by the same token, don't leave too much paint on there because you don't want to tilt because you'll lose your shapes. So I'm just trying to create some hills. Hill effects. And at this point, I am worried that there's not going to be enough paint to, to get to the end of this canvas. Praying to the painting gods. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> but it's all solid colour there, so it's okay. It's okay. I'm obviously thinking. I'm obviously thinking about that spot. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, use your finger. <laughs> Nobody will know. I use my fingers all the time when I paint. Who's to say you can't? Okay, I want to blend that horizon line into the sky a little, just to soften it up. If you look at the horizon, you, you never really get a sharp, sharp line um, because it's way in the distance. Um, so just creating a little bit of softness. There's lots of um, air bubbles in there as well and what I should have done is I should have torched the paint in the dustpan before I did it note to self I'm going to speed this up a little bit now because it it, it will turn into a very very <laughs> very long video results here there's quite a lot of paint left on the left hand canvas there so I was kind of hoping it would dry okay 
I could have done with actually tilting that side. I don't think it would have made any difference, but lovely cells popping up, um, which I'm thinking might kind of be significant with trees right in the distance. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy so far. It's being a little bit of a marathon <laughs> getting to this point, but you just got to keep on trucking. You really do. So I'm going to jump straight in with the um, painting over the top now. Hello, I'm back. So I've kind of jumped ahead with this painting. I've been on holiday. I'm out of sync with YouTube. I'm out of sync with everything that I'm doing. Um, and this is the dried results. Obviously, still got a long way to go with this. <laughs> And you can see I've just began to do an outline of a huge tree um, across these three canvases. Um, so I will be doing a time lapse next, but obviously it's taken a long time just to get to this stage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but so far I am super, super pleased at how how the sky has dried actually i don't you i don't think you'll be able to see how it really shimmers and shines because there's a lot of silver in that blue um yeah so i'm treating it more or less the same way as i treated um, my little one here the little baby one so this is its daddy um and i'm gonna be doing a time lapse on and off over the next I think this is going to take me a good three or four days work to get this finished so I'm really hoping what's today's date today is Sunday the 26th 26th yes I'm really hoping that next Sunday this will be um, this video will be on YouTube Just interjecting here in the time lapse, um, you can see just one colour, but because of the thickness of the paint, sorry, I've got a sweetie in my mouth, <laughs> I forgot that one. Because of the thickness of the paint that I'm applying in a sweeping direction, um, it picks up the light and you get some lovely highlights on there. There we go. And I'm going to carry on doing that in all the darkest areas of the paint painting. But I know you can't really see an awful lot in the time lapse, but I'm going to keep on going. To do right at the very end. So now I am going to go in with um, some mid tones, maybe a little bit darker than the mid tones. So I'm kind of going from dark to light. So this is just um, what colour is this? Well, it's the same colour. It's um, the sap green mixed with a little bit of. <laughs> my favourite green 359, just to give it a little bit of a glue and some thickening gel. So I'm going to crack on and 
So you always have to work out where the sun's coming and my light's going to be coming from the top down and filter through. So here it's going to be a little bit mid-tone-ish compared to here. Um, so you're always thinking about the flow and the direction of the light. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I'll carry on. Long painting. been at this from about 10 a.m. this morning it's now 3 30 and I've stopped for a 10 minute break and you're just joining me when I'm gonna go in and add highlights now this is what's going to bring this to life is adding the lightest lights and once I've done that, I then take a step back and I look at my darkest darks to see whether I can make anything black, black, black. I've done it a little bit here on the tree trunk, but I'll go through and maybe pull out some branches. But at the minute, um, I am literally that way, got two colours left. The my, it's my lightest light. Um, that's kind of like um, using some of the mid-tone colour and making a, a, a lighter version of that. Yeah, so last time-lapse, I promise. Mm -hmm. 